What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. In the last episode, we continued to help mid. And we're going to continue to do that in this episode as well. Uh, we're on letting off steam three. We got to talk to Apocrates. So, Clive, have you made your decision? Who will accompany you on your little excursion? So, naturally, it'd probably be better to pick Jill, honestly, but we haven't had Taria uh, so Jill's been in pretty much the whole game, but yeah, let's just, let's just take Taria. I don't think it really matters, really. We had a choice a couple episodes ago to bring either Otto or Gav. And I chose Otto because Gab was more in more of the storyline. Jill has obviously been in more of the story. So, yeah, let's just bring Taria. It's fine. All right. Like I said, I don't think it really matters. I have taken the liberty of preparing a list here. Garlic. Conch shells. Are you sure this is the right list? Looks like the ingredients for someone's supper. Though these items may seem mundane, they have potent effects that are rarely exploited. Effects for which they were once highly prized. So much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost to extinction, hence Moondews having fallen from favor. Now, of course, they can be obtained with ease. You should be able to find everything you need at the market in Northreach. Well, isn't that convenient? I was hoping to be able to make a trip over that way sometime soon. Need to speak to an old acquaintance. I'll meet you there. All right. Stay safe. Nope, oh, Jill. See you later, Clive. <laughs> Good luck with your research. Yeah, she probably didn't like that too much, so I picked Taria. Hippocrates and I'll look after things here. You head over to Northreach. Don't get me wrong, Jill. You're pretty hot. You're hotter than her, but come on. You're with, you're in the party the whole time. Alright, let's head over to Northreach. Now, where's Taya? Right over there. Nice and chill. Need to stock up on these. There you are, Talia. Ah, and there you are. We shouldn't have any problems finding what we need in a place like this. But if time is of the essence, perhaps we should split up. Take a few items each. All right. What should I look for? Let's see now. Why don't you take the garlic and the pepio nuts? Meet me by the gate when you've got them. Lover hair color. Was that like ginger? <sighs> Things would have been different. Greengrocer. He kind of looks like Quentin a little bit. Buy, sell, or be gone. Pio nuts. If that's what you want. Ain't. Buy some. Gotta go buy something from this person. Any friend of the innkeeper is a friend of Garlic. Mike. Ah, yes. What are we hunting? Vampires? Hopefully, Ty is finished too. Fresh cuts. Come and get them. Up. You'll not find a bruise. Well, did you find everything? I did. Here. Garlic and papilla nuts. Garlic and pepio nuts. Job pepio done. nuts, okay. We should get this back to Tomes then. He'll be waiting. But 
We're not in too much of a rush, are we? Quick chat. Well, we could do more than chat if you'd like. Bounce a wow wow. Do you know? I think this is the very first time we've been out on an errand together. Yeah, so that's if I brought you along. You might be right. In all the years since you and that scowl of yours first appeared, you haven't invited me out once. For shame. Well, it seemed long overdue. And you did say you had some shopping to do. I was hoping to restock my supplies of herbs and liniment, yes. You and Jill alone burned through them like wildfire. No luck, though. My usual supplier's not here, and I refuse to pay the prices these gougers charge. I'll ask Kara when we get back. What is it? Oh, just memories. I came here with Sid once, shopping for supplies, just like today. And just like today, I came away empty-handed. Sid even said he'd speak to Karen for me when we got back. Has it really been five years? I remember it as if it was yesterday. Hold on. Does that mean it's been five years since we met? Feels a lot longer. It does. In a good way, of course. Thank you, Taya. For what? For everything. I just want you to know that all you've done for us. Well, you still do. It's appreciated. Do you think I'd stick around if I thought it wasn't? But in the spirit of sharing and caring... ...you're appreciated too. By all of us. Yeah, our Clive can already get with Jill anytime. Well, I think we've tarried long enough. I ought to get these ingredients back to Tom so he can make up this concoction of his. I'll meet you back at the hideaway, all right? All right. And thanks again. I heard you the first time. So we gotta get we gotta get Taria in uh Clive's favor as well so she could be a side piece. That's what I do in real life. I have like a I have like a main chick, right? And then I have plenty of side chicks. You know, just Just there, you know. Call them up anytime, you know. When the main one's away, you know. I wonder how Hippocrates is getting on with the moon dew. My name is Razor XP, and I do not condone cheating. Ah, better late than never. We're ready to begin whenever you are. But no, I don't actually have a main chick or a side chick, so. Welcome home. He had a successful trip. Anyways, talk to Hippocrates. Who hopefully wasn't banging Jill while we were away. Maybe Jill's into old men, who knows. How's work on the shielding progressing, Hippocrates? Well, very well indeed. And thanks in no small part to your kind assistance. I was just explaining to Taya how we might best go about preparing the moon dew. And now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. <laughs> I'm sure you have. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway, under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obelus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Thank you. All of you. Right then. Jill, would you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Of course. 
They spend a lot of time together. Lesbians, perhaps? Or maybe Jill wanted to kiss Clive, so maybe Jill is bisexual. Oh yeah, definitely. Should do a little more next time. Yeah, unlike that submarine. Leave it to me. Thank you, Arbocrates. Quest complete. Letting off steam three. Four hundred EXP, five hundred ability points, twelve hundred and eighty gil, forty renown. Sorry I had to throw in a submarine joke that was pretty messed up. It was like the perfect timing for it. I, I had to do it. But that was in pretty bad taste. Alright, anyway. Let's head on over to mid. So the dirty talk ends now because I'm pretty sure Mid is underage. I don't know for certain though. But she she looks underage. that's highly resistant to heat a coating that should provide the protection you need he's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak brilliant i knew you wouldn't let me down don't thank me i'm just the errand boy right then better start working out how to bolt all these bits together to the black hammer oh she's actually gonna go there she made us go find Blackthorn last time. You know, when I go into the smithing game, I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo does. Displacement stacks. Same difference. Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way. Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is going to require some precision wallabing. <laughs> Sometime later. It was the epic Final Fantasy music. It's finished. It's finally finished. Fuck for that. I'll be feeling my hammer arm for weeks. Thank you, Clive, Blackthorn, everyone. That's one down and just three more to go. I'm huh. sorry. Oh, didn't I tell you? The Enterprise has four mithril engines and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. You don't mean. <laughs> don't worry. Now they've got a finished one to work off, my gang in Canva can build the rest. Good luck to them, I say. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in? Keep it to yourselves, eh? 
Now go take a nap, bro. Speak with mid. What's the matter? Nothing. Just daydreaming. Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown. Searching for a land untouched by the blight. Just like me and my dad planned. So if the worst came to the worst and every scrap of soil in the twins turned black, we might still have a chance. That's what she was meant to be. You see, one last chance just in case we needed it. But now she's so close to being finished, I've realized I don't want her to be that. I don't want it to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want... I want people to sail a border by choice, not from the lack of it. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but where we can actually live. I'm working on that. And I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> don't you always? All right. My mind's made up. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Sod our plans, I'm trusting in yours. Are you sure about this? Something tells me it's what my dad would have wanted. He'd be proud of you. You, um... You were gonna visit his grave, weren't you? I was. And you can come too, now that your little project is finished. Right. There's just one thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. I'll let Otto know you're coming. Meet us in the mess when you're ready. Aye, aye, Captain. All right. She told me she was building a ship. Oh, we got a new side quest available. Two new side quests available. Reading. Oh, well, not the reading table, but there's something right there. Oh, the. There's a side quest at the reading table, okay, and then there's weird science. Really? Isn't that a movie? That was a ship. Let's Isn't there a movie called Weird Science? Let's set it over there, we'll do that quest first before advancing the storyline. We always do side quests first, guys. You you know that. Ain't nothing new. So this person upstairs or downstairs? Looks like downstairs, right? On a lack lived a queen in Goblin 3, but he'd not did the goblins their queen and so full of rough did she banish them to shore where they supposed on mud till their lips turned black and they begged to return and good of heart the queen she did take them back adida okay sure let's go downstairs Alright, the next side quest we're going to be doing is here in the hideaway. Weird science. Here, Sid. Reckon you might be just the man to help me out with a bit of bother. If you remind him. Let's hear it. Well, it's about this alembic the chief's got me making. Lovely bit of kit, I guess. Bung in a solution you want split in, and it will separate it out, just like that. Problem is, it won't always get rid of all the impurities. And with some of the stuff we need it for, that ain't good enough. Which is why 
I've been looking for something to filter the liquid we'll be cooking off. And that's where I was hoping you could help me out. Why not? I imagine Ty could get some use out of this Alembic too. Distilling medicines and the like. All right. Why not? Proper job! So what exactly do you need for this filter? Nothing but bomb ash will do, says the chief. Gave me a sample she'd obtained from the university stores. Couldn't believe my eyes. You pour the blackest blight water through it, and it comes out clear as a mountain stream. So, I did a bit of reading about where I might be able to get older some. And do you know what I found out? It's only the blimmin' bones of a bomb king. They leave them behind when they die, see? I take it that's where I come in. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind. I, I, I saw a billet on the hunt board for one just the other day. Would have gone myself, but, well, fighting dirty great balls of flame isn't exactly my forte. You, on the other hand. All right. I'll see what I can do. Thank you kindly. And, and a good hunting, eh? Over here, take down a bomb king. Interesting. So, there was a. Was it Bomb King in Final Fantasy XII? That giant bomb in the forest? Was that Bomb King or something else? And then obviously, Final Fantasy IV had Mom Bomb, which was the uh, female bomb. Sorry, I like the I like to reference the old Final Fantasies when I play Final Fantasy games. <laughs> Just how I am. Ask about bomb sightings or the croc, Sam Brick. I guess I'll read what it says here. You're on the hunt for the Bomb King Koopo. Might interest you. Yeah, I've already got that. What the heck? Why is it still... Still saying to talk to it. Yes, I know. Okay, fine. We'll go over there. Same breaks this one over here, right? Or Yep, okay. So we're looking for what did it say the croc? Old road. Clear view. Hmm. Holy eye. The place is inaccessible right there. I don't see the area I'm supposed to go to.
Well, I guess I'll cut the video here until I find out where to go. I'll be right back. Alright, so I don't know if this is the right way or not, but I'm going to head this way. There's like a path here. I haven't been to the Imperial Chase yet, so we're going to head over there. Regardless if it's part of the quest or not. These enemies aren't worth fighting, really. Yeah, I'm not going to fight these enemies. It's just not worth it. They're so low level. Imperial Chase. This will lead to where we need to be, but I don't know. Yep, it is. Wow, okay. This is the right way. Okay, cool. But, hey, I'm going to avoid those enemies. I'm not fighting them. They're too weak. So this is the path we need to take. Awesome. I'm supposed to go that way, but let's head over here first. See if there's any like items or anything. Black blood. Alright, let's head the other way. I'm going to take down the, uh, the king bomb. I almost said mom bomb. Make a save and get ready for it. Alright, the next notorious marker we're going to be taking on is the Bomb King. That's right here on the map. In the Holy Empire of Sam Breck. Oh, you can't stagger it. Wow. Up to some more bombs. Holy crap.
Whoa. That was crazy. I didn't do that much damage. Oh, crap. Well, that did a lot. Back yelling at me like that. I'll better blow up. Yep, oh, sorry. to spam it now. It's over. And the tortoise mark slain. Alright, and for defeating the mark, you get a thousand EXP, sixty-five ability points, fourteen thousand four hundred gil, twenty renown, and a bomb ember. Your reign is over. Now to get the, yeah, to collect some bomb ash for stuff. for the quest. And there we go. We can complete weird science now. The wine needs more than this. He can fetch it himself. He's <laughs> like, you go back to him. He's like, I need more, Clive. And he'll end up making Clive go get more. And Clive will be like, okay, sure, whatever you say. And then Cobb would go back and get more. Even though he just said that the guy should go and get it himself. Good guy, Clive. Said. How's that hunt for the bomb ash going? I have it here. That's the stuff. And plenty of it, too. Enough to keep the Olympic bubbling away for a good old while. You're a gent, Sid. Let nothing say otherwise. Right then. Let's get this contraption up and running. Some time later. There we have it. The Telemon Alembic. And it works just like the Chief said it would. Very impressive. 
<laughs> Since the man who cut down a burning boulder. Speaking of which, I still haven't returned a favor. There's no need. The good it will do for the hideaway is reward enough. Don't be silly. Why don't you let me take a look at that bag of yours? The one you keep your potions in. Reckon I could work some magic on that, huh? What kind of magic? Well, we happen to have isolated a substance in our test run of the Alembic that I reckon will make even the toughest lever supple as anything. Thought we might use it to breathe new life into old boots and the like. Save the hideaway a few, Gil. But I reckon if we slap a bit on your bag, it'll loosen it up enough for you to squeeze in a bottle or two more. Well, it can't hurt to try, I suppose. That's the spirit. Leave it with me. I'll only be a mo. Well, what do you reckon? It certainly feels more flexible. Right. Told you. Thank you. I think. No, no. Thank you for supporting Mid and the rest of us in our endeavors. Without you, we'd never have been able to discover wonders like that stuff I rubbed on your back. And I'm telling you, there's plenty more where that came from. Quest complete. Word science. 900 EXP, 40 renown. Tested potion satchel necessary for increasing consumable inventory capacity. Finally. Holy crap. Took us forever to get that. But yeah. So we can hold more potions now. I don't know if it can go up any higher than this later, but. You have obtained a treated potion satchel. By increasing your capacity for carrying consumables, item slot increases as follows. So we get two more potions, one more high potion, one more strength tonic, and then one more stone skin tonic capacity. So that's nice. That's actually really good. So you definitely want to do that side quest 100%. As a must-do, must-complete side quest.